Alrighty then, let's see if I've got sound. Cool, I do have sound. Me likey. Let's see if we have game audio. And let's see if it <laughs> it's dairy time. <laughs> Maybe I need to, let's see. I think I need to raise my voice a bit. Or maybe, no, we lower the game. We don't want to blast your poor eardrums. Um, okay, let's see if everything works. Welcome Nocturnal and welcome Odin. It's great to see you. Uh, let's see. Let's pray to the technology gods. <laughs> okay, guys, we're playing Persona for Golden. I feel like we have to do the intro. It's so good. Here's to hoping that we don't get like copyright claimed or something. But I don't care, cause I'm alone today. Woo! Fuck yeah, let's go Teddy. How is my voice compared to the game audio? Do I need to raise myself a bit? Oh yeah, I do need to raise myself. Shit. Oh well, we'll fix it later. The first thing I'm gonna do is raise myself a tiny, tiny bit. I feel like this should be fine. Uh, all right, everyone, welcome. Um, we are on our own today. Uh, Blue is occupied with her studies. And so I thought that uh, we could hang out, just us, you guys and me for once um, do I want to connect to the internet I, I would like to connect to the internet yes I don't care about these things uh, so I thought that we could like play some persona 4 I recently got this game and I've only played like a couple of hours in I think I'm just like five hours in or something like that um, and so I thought we could just hang out, take it easy, play some Persona. I love this game. Uh, Persona 5 is probably one of my favorite games ever. Um, and so I got very excited to try this one. And we are going to play on normal difficulty. I would like to play on easy, but I don't think that you guys would let me get away with it. So we're playing on normal. <laughs> uh. Oh shit, we need to figure out a name as well for our character. I think I'm gonna name it Blue Phantom, because I miss her. <laughs> I miss her. Oh man. And I hope that my placement up here in the corner is fine as well. We'll see. And tonight I am drinking the sugar-free monster energy drink. Ultra Fiesta Mango to try and keep myself, you know, pigualet, as we say here in Sweden. <sighs> okay, well, this guy I recognize. He's in the fifth one as well. Uh, Igor, right? Ew, I had something gross on my screen. 
Oh, I don't recognize the voice, though. <laughs> oh, dear. And we want it on auto. <laughs> intriguing destiny. That's us. We do have an intriguing destiny. Okay. Maybe we should have done this in English to make it easier on us. Uh, I'm gonna have to change that. We'll see how I how I do that. Okay, so this is when we give the name. Yes, okay. So the last name. Is Blue's first name Blue or Phantom? Phantom is our last name. That's canon, right? I feel like that's canon. I'm Cheese Phantom and she is Blue Phantom. Christ, this game is loud. This lady is just screaming in my ear. I need to lower the game a bit, I think. <laughs> Good lord. There we go. <laughs> okay, so the last, our last name is Phantom then. Okay, here we go. Uh, first, last name is Phantom. And, and our first name is Blue, right. Okay. Thank you guys for straightening out for straightening out the canon names we have. <laughs> I appreciate that. Phantom Blue, but it's Blue Phantom. Yes. Yes. Let's proceed. Oh, he's gonna look into our future. That's cool. Oh, he's using tarot cards. I use those too. Uh, let's put away that. Huh. A terrible catastrophe is imminent. It's already happened. I'm streaming without blue. Isn't that catastrophe enough? Has the lady on the right spoken? She hasn't, right? Hesitation and mystery. This is some exciting gameplay, guys. I forgot to change the audio language. I hope we can fix that. I'm very much hoping that... Oh, no, I can't do that yet. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Margaret. She's pretty. Can we romance her? <laughs> Who can we romance? Who do we think Blue should romance? Yeah. I feel like... Oh! Oh, oh! Oh! Kids, look away! Kids, look away! <laughs> uh... Well... I, I have written that this stream isn't for kids. So, just so you know, PG-14, exactly. <laughs> oh.
Have you guys played the fifth one? Like Persona 5? If you haven't, I, I really recommend it. It's super fun. And there's like countless hours of gameplay. It's... oh, It's such a good game. <gasps> it's us! We look cool! A bit of it. Looking into playing the whole series again. You should! And like, I don't think that they typically have like a story connection. Uh, or well, I, I don't really know, honestly. I haven't played this one to completion yet. Uh, but I think it's like a new premise in every game. If I've understood it correctly. And the fifth one is so good. The characters are great. The story is great. The monsters are great. <sighs> I just love it. And I really like how the protagonist looks as well. I like how they go for this sort of look for their protagonists. That's like very... You don't look overly special, you know? You don't have, like, bright yellow spiky Naruto hair. It's just a normal person, you know? Hmm. Persona la great. Indeed. Ah. Well. This... Yeah, I don't know, like, because there are anime scenes in this game. Uh, I'm not sure how Twitch thinks of those. They're, like, they are cutscenes, so it should be fine, but it's also a bit scary. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared, okay? I want our streams to stay up. I don't want us to get claims, you know, because copyright claims suck. We did get one when we were playing Bigfoot, um, but that's quite a while ago. All right, here we go, guys. So it... No, I'm in the way! Gosh, dang it. Okay, you need to give me a few seconds. I need to fix this. Transform, and I need to do... There we go. I just needed to move. Oh. <laughs> yeah, for the uh, like the intro music or whatever you call it. Oh shit, I'm too far to the side. There we go. Um, because of like the intro music, the menu, main menu music, we got copyright claimed for that. So we had to mute it uh, in order to keep our stream up. So we're, we're gonna be nice because Blue is a nice person and we need to do the role play correctly. So I feel like she would say it's nice to meet you. <laughs> do I have five viewers? Oh my god, I'm 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 getting stressed. <laughs> now I have to be funny. Shit. <laughs> uh, is Blue a nice person? Yes, I I decidedly think that Blue is a very nice person. Uh, probably one of the nicest. Absolutely. A child. <gasps> a shy child. Lo. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, guys, this game is violent, just so you know. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I really like this song. This plays like 90% of the game time. Unfriendly looking girl. What about her looks unfriendly? The heck? What do you... What, what do you mean unfriendly looking girl? She just looks like a girl! God. Oh, ho, ho. Okay. 
the first moment I get full control over this game, I promise you, I will switch this, uh, the language to English. I just prefer to have like the original voice acting when I play solo. But I think that That's switching it to English will probably be a big help for us. Blah blah. Sorry guys. いや、クリスを迎えに来ただけだ。都会から今日お越ししてきてな。ビッグ we don't have any friends. Desa, yet. Jima, bite of Oh, I don't want to work at a gas station. Zi, kangai to iteo. Gakse de mo daijobu da kara. Okay. Shaking hands with strangers. I don't think if that's. Oh, to shinai to. Hmm. Oh, she's so cute. No, we're just we're we're just tired, or maybe a bit dizzy. God, guys, stop fussing. I'm just light-handed. <laughs> Alright guys, quest number one, we're going for a walk. The shopping district is near the house, we should get to know the stores. Examine the blue, 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 uh, examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. No. Ha. Here we go. We got this guys. Ha ha, no. There we go. Okay, let's see. So now if we talk to someone. Yes, I, I just met you. Maybe I could... Hold on. Uh, we could like do it like this. BGM. What the heck is... BGM must be music, right? I just, I really want this, the sound to be good. That's, that's what I care about. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Uh. I, okay, this, this is better, right? No. We're turning down the music. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm satisfied. <laughs> It's a lot more difficult to do uh, do sound and stuff when um, oh we're doing that too. It's a lot more difficult when you're all alone. People, oh there's a snack thief. Do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? I was really looking forward to eating it. Oh, they're having a sibling dispute. Yeah, let's... Are we allowed to go here? No. Okay, what's this? Shiroku store. Okay. And what's this? A tofu shop? And someone's pounding something in the back of the store? Let's not go there. And a bookstore. We like bookstores. Those are good. We want to go. Let's go. 
Oh man. We arrived at the Dojima residence. This is our home now. Hmm. Let's have a toast. Oh, that's that's not the voice I thought it would be. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm also toasting. So your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Yeah. Well, it's just me and Nanako here. So it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. That's nice. Thank you, I think Blue would say. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be so formal. Yes, there is. There is a big need to be formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. That's a weird line of dialogue. Well, anyway, let's eat. And they're eating sushi. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm hmm Yeah? I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Aw. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. I feel like this child. <laughs> no, oh then. Nanako, when? it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. This poor child is treated like an adult. I that that is one thing that I do know. This child is basically this our week. parent. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. This is so exciting, guys. We get a live weather report. <gasps> let's eat. Yes. What does your dad do? Investigate stuff. Like crime scenes. Wow. Do you mean like a cop? My dad's a detective. Mm-hmm. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. Whoa. -oh. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. Huh. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. So exciting. This is boring. Thank you, Nanako. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our product. Every, every day is great at, at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat? Oh shit. Using the calendar. No, it's the phone. The calendar's all the way. Oh! You know what? I didn't know that that was a wall. Ah. Uh, hold on, I didn't mean like that. Just that the line of Monus is super weird at time, yeah. Don't worry, Odin. I, I understand. No worries. Hello. She wants to be alone. Yes, let's eat fried rice. We're gonna be rude. It's the calendar. Yeah, it is the calendar. I, I honestly thought that, that it was 
<laughs> I thought that it was the phone. I didn't understand that this that I'm walking behind was a wall. I thought it was a wall like far back. So the perspective was off. I'm, I'm silly. But yes, we use the calendar to save the game. And also, hello, uh, Jakuk. Jakuke. Ja. I'm Swedish, so I'm having a lot of difficulty pronouncing your username. Um, we're not going to talk about why. <laughs> uh, but yes, I'm having a difficulty. I'm sorry. And this is our room. We're tired. We're going to sleep. Heck yeah, let's sleep. Oh. I wonder if everything will be all right. <laughs> You're good. Thank you. <laughs> and welcome to the stream as well. Uh, I'm playing Persona 4 Golden. Uh, usually we are a duo, but my second half is having some studies done, I believe. So she couldn't be with us today. Um, so you're stuck with me and I felt like playing something that I like. So we're playing Persona. <laughs> uh, and we named our character after my second half. Her name is Blue. And my name is Cheese. Oh my God. You know, this, this kind of place, this is, it's covered in a thick fog. All we can do is proceed forward. I feel like this would be my worst nightmare because I, I have a terrible fear of heights. And, you know, like, and everything's so, you can't see anything and bleh, me no likey. But we're gonna run anyway. Whee. And I am playing this using my PlayStation controller because do you seek the truth? Someone's voice. Hmm. Uh, I have tried to play this with mouse and keyboard, uh, but it's I, I don't like it. If it's truth you desire, come and find me. Hello, nice to be along for the ride. Personally, I would be walking on all fours at some points. Yeah, same. I would be crawling forwards and I would probably be crying as well. <laughs> I'm terrified of heights, and this sort of feels like it's very high up, and then a thick fog. No, I don't like it. Terrible. Someone's ahead. Will we continue? I suppose we have to. Oh. Oh, cutscene time. So, you're the one pursuing me. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> Try all you like. Where did we get that sword from? Hiya! What's that? Hmm, it seems you can see a little despite the fog. Hiya! I see, indeed. That is very interesting information. Hiya! But you will not catch me so easily. If what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. Bewildering fog. Ooh. The surroundings are covered in fog. Hiya! No. Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Hiya! Will we meet again? At a place other than here? Hmm, hmm. I look forward to it. Oh no, guys, we're losing consciousness. Dot, 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 dot. I'm just... Oh, yeah, I've, I feel like this is a fine place for me to be. All right, I'm not in the way yet. Breakfast ready. Oh, it's the tiny adult. Feel like we had a nightmare. What could it have been about? We're starting school today. We should head to the living room for now. Oh, yay! We're starting school! Good morning. Morning. 
Oh god, that looks so good. Okay. Sausage and egg Let's and toast. See. And the best thing to have on white toast is butter and honey. You can't change my mind. Uh, did you cook? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Just a tiny adult. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. What the fu- You're starting school today, right? Yeah, we are. My school's on the way, so let's go together. Thank God we have someone responsible taking care of us. She seems restless. We go to school with Nanako. School zone, Samegawa floodplain. You keep going straight from here. Okay. My school's this way. Bye. Bye. School zone intersection in front of the school. Is the sound still okay? I don't know why it would change. I feel like it's fine. Ouchie. That looks painful. Let's leave him alone. Can't believe our guardian is in the first grade. <laughs> yeah. And I don't, I don't think it's a Japanese thing. Sounds good still. Thank you. <laughs> Jakuke. What kind of student life awaits us here? Well, I am very smart. So I think this is gonna be fine. Uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. Oh. Get to enjoy his long ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. <gasps> huh? Really? A guy or a girl? Exciting. A transfer student from the city. Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Poor guy. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut oh your traps. My God. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. Oh, this guy seems like a hoot. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. That's right. Love is for nerds. As long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. I don't like the sound of that. He's beautiful, huh? Yeah. He is an absolute unit, as they say. Now, I hate Gorgeous. wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. Why is this guy such a sad sack's been thrown from the Whoa! big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage? Wow. Excuse me, sir. We just met. And he's just as much of a loser what the here fuck? as he was there. <laughs> so you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Why? Why is he attacking us like this? Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. What the f are you calling me a fucking loser? Yeah, that's right. We're courageous. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. I thought we already were. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better <sighs> not even think of getting involved with the girls here. Let alone abusing them. What the fuck? Why would we? But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journal. Why? Why Excuse is he me, such a is dick? Is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. 
You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Wow. I feel like this is going to be such a great school year, guys. We have a great teacher. A girl's She's already worst, interested huh? in us. I'm in love. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Who who are we in love with, guys? Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Thank God we have a whiny student giving us exposition on the mean teacher. Then again, we're all in the same boat. <laughs> we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. God. Our life at the new school has begun. Will we fit in? Sure we will. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. Oh. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Uh-oh. Mystery. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Well, now I want to go somewhere. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Oh. <gasps> Did something oh, happened? Shit. Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. <gasps> yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. <gasps> hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. So much exposition. Is this what it's like in high school? Like, I'm, I'm, we established pre in the previous stream that I'm an old piece of shit. So, obviously, since I'm an old piece of shit, I haven't been in high school for quite a long while. Is this what it's like? Do people gossip like this? Like, give such specific exposition. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Ah! <gasps> Hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? Ooh, the plot can't thickens. can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? I gossip like this at work, but never back in high school. Yeah, at work, work. A workplace is a very good place for gossip. I've worked a lot in, like, uh, the care. Um, what do you call it? In care? So, like, there are a lot of, like, uh, women who work there, old and young. And goddamn, do we gossip. It's insane. There's no telling. Hmm. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Ah, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Okay. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Jeez. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. I work with like-aged people. Okay, you know what, Odin? <laughs> We're, we're gonna let go of this whole thing about my age. I turned 28 this year. So I'm still hey, a young are you going woman. Home by yourself? 
Yes, I am going home by Why don't myself. You come with us? No, I don't want to. You're girls. And we were just told that you're not allowed to talk to me. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next. Chie. Well, nice to meet you. Do we love her? No. This is Yukiko Amagi. We love Yukiko. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. I feel like Chie has a bit of an annoying voice. Or maybe that's uh, just um, me. Miss Satanaka, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. Uh-oh. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Oh, oh. Jesus. What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Oh, no. Not the DVD. Oh, my trial of the No. Oh, oh, my God. It's cracked, too. Critical hit to the Nads. The Nads? Aren't they called the Nards? Uh, are you alright? Oh, Yukiko-san. Are, are you worried about me? God. He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Well. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Let's just leave him to it. Nads as in gonads. Oh, right. Thank you, Nocturnal. I didn't even think of that. You're Yuki, right? Oh. You want to go hang out somewhere? Huh? What? Who, who are you? What's up with him? What school is he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. Oh, that sounds creepy. <laughs> I bet you a can of Tappy gets knocked out. T <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? The Amagi challenge. Now this feels like high school. Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? Why does he look like that? He looks terrifying. I, I'm not going. Fine. Wing. What did he want from me? Poor girl. What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Uh, obviously. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Well, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. <sighs> That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. Okay. We're just curious is all. I know that these two are the first females we have been presented with. But uh, when I played uh, Persona 5, I decided to date the, uh, the, what's it called? The, the cool girl who studies a lot. Um, student something representative. Student something president. Uh, and I feel like, yes, Makoto, exactly. Uh, I don't know what it's called. The student something precedent she was because she's so good at school um and like this black haired girl yukiko she's giving me makoto vibes um and i know that we're role playing as blue right now council president thank you jakuke jakuke i'm trying to say it in a non-swedish way because you have a bad swedish word in your name <laughs> uh <laughs> But yes, um, so I'm trying to figure out, like, would Blue 
go for the student council president. I know that Yukiko isn't student council president, but she looks like Makoto and that makes me love her <laughs> automatically. So do I go for, for what I want or do I go for what I think Blue would want? Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. She is like a long-haired Makoto, right? Literally. God, where are my slippers? My feet are cold. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Okay. I'll be right back, guys. I forgot I forgot my slippers in another room. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uno momento. You know what we could play the next time that I'm alone? We can play the South Park games, because those are so much fun. Whew. I have both of them, the ones that were released for PlayStation. Uh, oh shit, those are so fun. We should do that sometime. That, that, that's, that's a good idea for a stream, you guys. Uh, I had to get my sheep's wool slippers because my feet are oh. cold. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? Well, I wouldn't say nothing. It's got pretty... One of those games has huge testicles swinging past you. Oh, I remember that, yeah. There are quite a lot of graphic things. I wonder what Twitch would think of that. That's what makes it nice. Hmm. But there is nothing much We'll have to think about it. <laughs> Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Yeah. Huh? It's just an old inn. No, it's not. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! Hmm. It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. Wow! I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Will there be butterfly effect if I say yes? Okay, guys, I'm going for it. Oh, I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. Oh, shit, I made her uncomfortable. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Hmm. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, GA. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? Oh. When this music starts, you know something fucked up has happened. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street. Huh? Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? What was it? I wanted to see it too. What is it? Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Was it a NATO flag? I feel like, I, I think those are getting popular here in Sweden. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed oh. up here. Never mind. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? <gasps> dead? <gasps> oh shit, now we're in trouble. Hey, 
What are you doing here? I'm walking home from school? Oh, Jesus. We're just passing by. Chill. Huh. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? Yeah, it's our uncle. Funkel, I'm Detective as Dojima, they say. his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. No. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Oh, I'm so glad we listened to the full vomit sound. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> you know, I haven't played this game a lot. I've only played like the first five hours or so. But now that I'm looking at this guy's face, doesn't he look a bit sus? You, you're not allowed to spoil me. But I, I'm, I'm just saying, he looks a bit sus. Oh, go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Hmm. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? The body. Hey, was Yukiko, hanging from the antenna. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. Yeah. <laughs> he is also a new detective. Yeah, exactly. He's he's giving me like, you know, we're not going to we're not going to sit here and like talk about how things are going to go or how we think things are going to go. I just made an observation that the new detective looks a bit sus. Okay? That's it. Uh, where were we supposed to go? I want to go shopping. Do we have any money? Hey. You're a student at Yasogami. You should have gotten an order to go home. Go home! No. <laughs> oh, we can't shop. Okay, fuck it. Then we're leaving. We need to take care of our of our young grown-up guardian. We have two guardians. One is an adult and one is a five-year-old. I wonder if dad's not coming home again tonight. This poor child! Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Uh oh. Around noon today. A woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Plug your ears, kid. The school shown's being showed on TV. Could this be the incident we heard about? Or is it another one? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano. Oh, shit. A 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. She's the one who had an affair. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> The, the Inaba Police Department. That's where Dad works. Oh my God! <sighs> Ev everything will be fine. Don't worry. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. God, this child is so mature. I feel so bad for her. <laughs> the body was found hanging from a large television antenna. Ah, plug your ears, kids. Roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. Hmm. A thick fog common How to many the area murders has Inaba had? And plans to fully That's a good question. How tomorrow. many murders will Inaba have? Is also a question. So she's dead. Well... Her, oh shit, I'm sorry, I was supposed to read this for you guys. Forlot, sorry. Her affair with a local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. Oh. Uh, oh, it's Juness. Oh, thank God she's a five-year-old, so she's easily distracted. At Juness, 
Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Oh, okay. Every day is great at your Juness. Oh, oh, we're gonna do it! Your Juness. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Okay. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over. Seems she's forgotten all about the scary story. Well, that's good. Okay. He's not coming home. Leave her alone. Do we have anything to eat? No. Okay, let's... I guess we're going to sleep. Great at your Oh yeah, Vlad, did you see that? Someone <laughs> Holy shit, that went quick. Maybe we should help him. Ah, oh, fine. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. You're welcome. Um Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Blue Phantom, that is us. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Yosuke. Uh, you good, homie? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good. He looks so, fine. Did you hear about the incident from yesterday? We found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Oh. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Hmm. Maybe. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that—that's just messed up. Hmm. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Oh. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up? Oh, during class? Don't you have common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. <laughs> and since I'm so nice, I will straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? No. And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. We listened to him, and that made us smart. Hmm. Everything's great. So, you getting used to this place? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else yeah like yukiko the air is clean the food's great yukiko's oh, pretty you know about the local delicacy yukiko it's grilled steak oh. man like that's anything special if huh? it works it works you know a place where you can yeah. get it cheap want to come you helped me out this morning so it's on me what about me huh no apologies my trial of the dragon uh. you always come around when i'm talking about food how about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. Genius. I need to help out at the end today anyway. What, what do you mean, don't want to gain weight? You have to eat. That's, that's so basic. You need to eat. What? <sighs> wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Oh. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm playing Persona 4 Golden and I have five viewers. And I'm all alone with no blue. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Yes, you do. Treat yourself, but uh, treat us. Treat ourselves. <laughs> this 
is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. You know what I could really go for? A milkshake. God damn, a milkshake yeah, would well, be good. Once you hopped on the free amazing train, to hear. I had to my plan. It's amazing to hear and see Persona being played again. Oh, I'm so happy you like it. I really like these games. Fudora Max. No, I don't have anything here. We have literally nothing. We have Sibylla. Um, that's that's the only like fast food restaurant we have where I live. The closest one is like 50 kilometers away. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, now you know how I feel. <laughs> Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. I feel for you. Oh, thank you, Odin. But you know, when you live far away from fast food restaurants, that does like promote creativity. We tried to make our own strawberry milkshakes the other week, because I've been ill in uh, an upper. Uh, well, what's it called? A kidney infection from an upper urinal tract infection or something like that so i was like at the hospital for like almost a week getting antibiotics straight into my blood and, <laughs> and i couldn't eat for that whole time and the first thing i said to my partner was like when we were at the emergency room before they put me in the hospital i was like okay when they let us leave we're going to mcdonald's and i'm getting a milkshake and then I never got my milkshake because they moved me to another hospital. And we don't have milkshakes here. Or well, I don't know if Sibylla Dude, has this them. Isn't my place or anything. But Sibylla is... Ugh, no, it's bad quality. I want McDonald's or Max shakes. Those are the good ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I don't think I've ever laughed as much as when me and my partner were like... We were feeling fast food, so we went to Sibylla, and they have they had a burger called Raggar Burjare. And that shit made me laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> because, like, in Sweden we have this sort of Raggar culture. Uh, people who drive, like, older cars, or they drive uh, Epa Traktor, which are cars that aren't allowed to go over, I think it's 50? That is the top speed. Uh, that young people can drive from 15. And so it's called like Eparagare or Volvo Raggare. And that means that you like listen to a certain type of music and you drive cars and you listen to loud music while driving the cars and stuff like that. Uh, and the Raggar Burjare uh, was made of pork, uh, pork mince. Not my favorite. I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Oh yeah, it's 30. You know, that's right. That's right. I never got an Epa when Sadunaka, I was young. Yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. But yeah, I, yeah, that's true. It's 30. We have those all over here too. Yeah. It's a plague. <laughs> a modern day plague, Epa Traktorer. Oh, look at them. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing and... Oh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> yes, you can. Hey, it's Saki. Sorry, be right back. <laughs> he wishes. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Oh. I think she's working here part time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. Oh, I really liked her voice. What's up, Hanachan? 
boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, I I like this voice actor. Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Oh, she left school early? Why is that an issue? Shouldn't hey, she be happy? is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. She's so pretty. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. You know, if you'd sprinkled some freckles on that nose, we we would have a ten out of ten. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> He's a great guy. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. The well, words... my break's just about over. Back to work I go. The word Senpai sort of triggers me. Later. Um, I don't think I've ever told... Oh, what, senpai? I don't think I've ever told you guys this. Uh, and I don't think that Blue has told you either. But we went to high school together. Uh, and we watched a lot of Naruto and anime and stuff, and we were like writing our own manga together. But Blue was the one who drew, because I can't draw for shit. And I used to call her Senpai. And it's... Oh, the word just makes me feel nauseous now, after that. We're Swedish. That, that word has no place in our vocabulary. <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying. But she's even yeah. easier than me. She has a younger brother. I, I am telling the truth. Pretty much the same way. I, I I used to call her that. It's it's cringe. We were high schoolers. Yes, senpai. We yeah. No, don't note it. Forget it. <laughs> Never remember it again. <laughs> oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't clip outfit. it! <laughs> what the, the daughter of a local family <laughs> and the no. fading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Yes, the flame of forbidden love. Let's focus on that. Like no, Jakuke, stop it. <laughs> you you do not remember anything. Let's let's make that clear. You don't remember nothing. <laughs> We're just going to focus well, on this game. Heart. Yeah, stream. Streamer plays game. <laughs> you do not remember. <laughs> here of the midnight channel. Oh, okay, guys. Here comes exposition. We need to listen. You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off alone. Exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. Oh. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? <laughs> okay, Obi-Wan. <laughs> childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? I I'm taking that as a compliment. Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Yay! Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Well, you are old. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. I'm not old. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm not old. My joints are stiff, but that's normal. I'm 28. 
You're older than me, that's what matters. Wow, okay. If I'm old, then Markiplier is ancient. That's, um, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, you can't... <laughs> you can't do this to me. I don't have anyone here to defend me. <laughs> We, we like to joke about the 30-year-old body. Like, when I'm saying, like, oh, I've got a bad back today, my partner will always joke and be like, yep, it's your 30-year-old body. But I'm not even 28. I'm still 27 for, like, a bit more than a month more. Okay? So let's, <laughs> let's drop my age in the let's not talk about it bin. And let's talk about this game, huh? Ooh, what if the culprit behind <laughs> it is still lurking around? Rounding <laughs> up, it's 30. God damn. Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like That's that. That's it. I'm messaging Not Blue. I'm, I'm telling on you. <laughs> Don't mob me. And then a sad face. <laughs> De säger att jag är gammal. We weeping face. That's right. <laughs> the moment Blue sees these messages, she's gonna be so disappointed with you. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you guys better oh. try it out tonight. Okay, I really want to play this game. I really want to get to like a point where we can do battle and stuff. So I'm I'm gonna like try to do this faster. Not the older one. No, Blue is actually younger than me. By a month. <laughs> Another dinner alone with Nanako. Don't worry. Yeah. Yay! Father! What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? Someone died, and I was bullied by a bunch no, of internet strangers. You're late again. No, you're not strangers. You're our followers. And we, we appreciate you guys a lot. You, you are the ones who make this fun. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. It wouldn't be fun without you guys. Can you put the news on for me? Yay, news. Next. I feel real honored. You should, Odin. That goes for all of you. Odin, Jakuk, uh, Nocturnal, if you're still here. The last time you spoke with us, Nocturnal, you were talking about huge testicles, so I am a bit worried. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband Namatame. of the singer Misuzu Hiragi. Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with a councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Oh. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Jesus, this reporter is kind of offensive. Uh, um. Hey, I remember that face, hair. That's, that's, uh, that's the girl who was called Senpai. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? This reporter. Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around yeah, here? Yeah, Saki. Thank you, Jakuke. Jakuke. No, not really. Jakuke. Jak 
Mm. We heard that you found it when you I'm going to call you early. Jack. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's This this reporter is being very like um what's it called? He's kind of being violating a bit, isn't he? Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Josuke Senpai. Hey, Jack, you got it right. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. Oh, yeah, it's a shame. You're losing customers because a person died. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. Kids, plug I your ears. I have to say, it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Huh? Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Those are prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for <gasps> yourself and get in touch with our products. Our favorite commercial! Every, every day is great, great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. This this commercial. Hey Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? No. Oh. This dad is a terrible dad. No? <sighs> hmm, I think he's asleep. Jeez. God, that poor child. <laughs> Your father's terrible. He's sleeping and we're leaving him alone. There's nothing in the fridge. When, she, when I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his room. She's still watching TV. Okay. Okay, we're gonna watch the Midnight Channel thing. You ready? Let's watch TV in our room! I wasn't allowed to do that when I was a kid. Maybe, but we're not really kids. We're, we're grown-ups. Teenagers. High schoolers. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true? Hmm. Oh, we've got an anime cutscene, guys. Let's go. Nani? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. Oh shit. Our powers are awakening. Maybe? That's gotta hurt. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. It's... I'm sorry, did I wake you? I heard a really loud noise. Yeah, that was us breaking our neck. Well... Good night. This poor child. She's returned to her room. 
What the fuck just happened? We're gonna talk about it with the others tomorrow. But now we're gonna go sleepy time. Every day's great at your Sorry. Goodness. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. She forced herself under our umbrella. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves. And I accidentally broke mine, trying to mimic the movie. By the way, did you see it? Yes. Yes, we did. Do tell, but the person it showed. Hmm. Never mind, I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Uh, um. It's awkward to bring this up now, but we're pretty close. I'm just gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. I'm gonna fucking race you. Huh? We're both gonna run through the rain? What's the point in that? It's not like I wanted to make a break for it. Man. <laughs> Am I worrying too much? Eh, I'll keep going with you anyway. Come on. Let's go. Okay. So she made a big deal about walking next to me and then decided to keep walking next to me. <gasps> oh! Oh, okay everyone. It's school time. Hello everyone. My name is Kimiko Sofue and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past, and it flows ever forward. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Ho ho ho. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Mr. Phantom, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? Well, I happen to know this because... Because it's 1 BC, before Christ. 1 AD is when Christ is born. And then it had you have a new teacher? Yeah, I'm excited about this. I hope she can stay. 1 BC. Ah, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption. But world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the zero as a number. That's why, when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. We gave the correct answer. Different subjects, different teachers. Yeah. Upside down? That's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. Thank you, Jack, for for uh, for typing that thank you had to respond to some tiktoks what tiktoks my senpai told me it was a third year named saki who found the body oh shit saki found Yo. the body oh wait no we um, knew this it's a it's not really that important but well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Yes? Oh, uh, you never mind. Oh my god. Well, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Some frog tiki-taki? <laughs> tiki-taki? <laughs> oh. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai's supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Hmm. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Bye, my love. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? 
Well, I can't really tell with these character models. I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Yes, we did. Uh, uh, well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair hmm. was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Hmm. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? Uh-oh. How should I know? This is the start of some really bad competition, huh? How about you? Did you see it? Yeah. Oh, right. It sounds we like fell I into the, the TV. Person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Yeah, that happened. Were you that tired last night? No. You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. Hey, you guys. Aw, oh, these guys suck. That'd be one interesting dream, though. These guys suck. They don't believe me. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. I don't like Chie's voice actor. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Okay. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Yeah. What the hell? Oh. We've got some pretty big ones in God, stock. she sucks. <laughs> I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> These guys are bullies, and they don't believe us. Guess we're going with them anyway. Because we don't have any other friends. Great. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope, can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. You guys are so mean. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> Well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... Hmm. With a TV this big, you, we might be able to go inside. Oh. oh! 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 yeah. What kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Oh! Oh! The plot thickens. Is his arm in the TV? Mm-hmm. Whoa. new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no! You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? No, I'm just pretending. Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? They're staring at us. We might be able to put in more. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, don't do that. What are you doing? Oh my god. 
It's empty. What do you mean inside? Wh what do you mean empty? Spa oh, it's very spacious. What do you mean spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. No. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. Uh oh. I can't hold it anymore. Shit, customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. What are we gonna do? Look, wait, whoa! Yeah, ha. Huh. Oh, I don't like this animatic. It's so trippy. Ugh. Oh! Anime cutscene! Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Um. <laughs> huh? So, uh, we're still alive, right? For now. You guys okay? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> We're more understanding. I think my butt's cracked now. Oh. Uh, of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba. Is there? The oh, clock no. truly thickens, you guys. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Let's look around. Huh? Look, we need to get home and. Exactly. Huh? Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Jesus. <laughs> We're doomed. <laughs> Jesus. No, we're gonna be the cool, smart person. We're gonna look for a way out. Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Yeah. Let's calm down and think about this. Yeah. All right, so we need to find a way out. Yes. Is there really a way out of here? Yes. We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. Yes. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Hmm. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I know, but. Well, no choice but to continue forward, you guys. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? Hmm. No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? Oh. <laughs> oh dear. It's a dead end. There's no exit. 
keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Well, this... Uh, I can't hold it any longer! Oh, dear. My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! Well, Jesus Christ! You're here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding! Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. I feel like this is sort of a subplot. Yosuke needs to pee while everything else is happening. Like I care. Poor guy. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Hmm. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. Oh dear. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come oh. on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Uh-oh, we're getting tired. Is it the place's oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Oh dear. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh my god. Ah! What the fuck is that? What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? That was not the kind of voice I expected. Like that. Oh, he's scared. Let's ask him nicely. What are you? I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. The plot thickens, guys. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? Oh, great, it likes us. I already told you. Anyways, what it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Uh -oh. Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! Oh, this is automatic. Huh? Is this? Did we make it back? Yay! Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? 
Yummy. Agents are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Yummy, yummy. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Ah. Hey, you're right. They're the same. There it is. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. Uh-oh. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with... Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, that was... that was creepy. Yeah, stop! No more! We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. <laughs> I don't think my poor heart... Can take any more. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Hey, welcome home. Oh man, cup noodles. God, that's yummy. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? She wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. <gasps> oh, We've shit. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. No, oh, not the pretty girl. Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn, the family... No, the, the inn that Yukiko's family runs. You know, Yukiko, the girl we're in love with. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there. And it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Wow, okay, you fucking creep. Uh, I see. Moving along, <laughs> it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From Yay! From until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was staying at the Amagi Inn run by our future girlfriend's family. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Senpai, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. Bless. We feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako. Could you get him some cold medicine? Oh. Well, gee, we just sneeze. You should get to bed after you take it. Hmm. Let's save the game. And go to sleep. Another cutscene. What's what is that us? Is oh jeez. Oh. Oh no. No 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 oh, you're no off. no. Well, I'm off. Well. He left. Hmm. <laughs> Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. <laughs> you poor child. Oh, she's worried. But 
The girls are gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Uh-oh. It seems there's been an incident. Hmm. Let's go to school. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. They're gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Is that our principal? First, the principal has something to say. Oh my god, he looks ancient. I... Regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. No! <laughs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased. No! <laughs> no, not our romance option. The reasons behind her passing are currently yeah, that is an old fuck. by the police. God damn it, guys. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. God damn it, we just lost the most interesting romance option. God dang it. <sighs> That's a shame. Ripped. <laughs> R.I.P. to Saki Senpai. You were a real one. I've been assured by the faculty <laughs> that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Why does the history teacher look like that? Like, oh. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> oh, poor Yosuke. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. History is her whole personality. Yeah, I, I think so. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by hmm. the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that Stamps was on the Midnight Channel thingy. <laughs> They oh. said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Oh, here comes the hey, boy. Did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me. So I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki Senpai. <gasps> There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Oh, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe. Just maybe, but... Oh, the dead guys end up on the TV. Miss might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying... People who appear on that TV... <gasps> die? <gasps> I can't say for sure. Oh my god! But something tells me 
I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. It's just like those sci-fi movies. Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Absolutely. The world and the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? Yes. Absolutely. I think so you're right. It's not just me, huh? No, it's not just you. If there is a connection. Then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. Uh-oh. That would explain the posters in that room. Uh-oh. Which means if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai too. <gasps> Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. Hell yeah. I want to find out for myself. We're going in, guys. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and Okay, in before the police are worthless, right? They're they're probably going to say something like that. You think we can rely on the yep, police? Yep, there we go. They haven't made any progress on the announcer's <laughs> case. Gee, <man. laughs> Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. No, but you could show them. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Poor guy. Yosuke. Yo. After what I've seen Ske. and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Hell yeah. Oh, it's actually, look, it's the day before my birthday. Huh, funny thing. Yosuke has asked us to take him into the TV world again. I think I we're going to do it. I understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. Meh. What should we do? We should go for it. Are you serious? Yep. Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. guys came we came to stop you idiots come on you really shouldn't do this it's too deep i know but we were able to come back once right if we go in from the same location maybe we'll meet that bear again maybe isn't good enough look i can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me that's true but what about you could you just walk away i'm just excited to beat up some shadows yeah, I thought not. Ooh, ooh, the action music. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going ooh, in without a plan. It's giving Matrix. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. Wh what? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. Oh, hell yeah, we have a golf club and medicine. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey, I said wait! God, stop screaming. that lifeline see i knew this wasn't gonna work now what poor girl is this look this is the same place as last time so they are connected from place to place you guys 
Why'd you come back? I get it. You're the ones behind this. You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. Eh. Shit. Oops. This is the second time you guys came here. And I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Oh, fi fan. That, that was the worst line. Don't label us. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Oh shit, that must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life... Li oh. What? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time. But it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. S shut up. <laughs> See? So it is you guy. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up. Because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? Hmm. I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I I'm asking if someone. When do we get to kill get things? <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to lose my patience. I want to kill things. I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Uh... What do you mean? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Whoa. What the fuck? What the oh. are you? It, it's empty Gross. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. 
after we've been violent against you. That makes but sense. I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise we can do me. that. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> oh my god, I hate this fucking bear creature thing. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking us to find the culprit. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't us, he wants us to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Oh yeah, I agree, Jack. The Teddy's voice makes me angry. It, it gives me violent feelings. I remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination. And a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Oh my god, he was right? Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon us? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since we can't leave the TV world on our own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Will you promise me? Fine, I promise. Thank you! Stop talking, <laughs> please. Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. He... what? But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Blue Phantom, that is us. You got a name? Teddy. <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki Senpai? <gasps> I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know her name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Hell oh, yeah. One thing first. You two should put these on. Glasses. What are these glasses for? No, we can't put glasses on. We will look like nerds. <laughs> As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly became much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Just stay out of our way. Oh, oh I'll give you guys there we go. moral support from a safe distance. Much better. Can you do it quietly? How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? I'm pushing the bear. Eh. <laughs> Oh my god! The voice! It makes me so angry! This is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki senpai person? Someone you know? That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Alright. find more information too. Let's get moving. Hell what? yeah. Wait! Oh my god, yes. We're getting somewhere. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled. I, I don't know what to do. 
Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> God, this bear is useless. Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. Huh? I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Oh my god, yay, guys! It begins! Me. Uh Me. -huh. Uh -huh. They looked like they would sound <gasps> like that. Me. They look sad. Ew. I am thou. Thou art I. The time has come. Hell yeah. Here we go. What is within? Here we go, guys. <gasps> A card? God, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Shut the fuck up, Teddy. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh my fucking god, it's so epic. <laughs> Go, Isanagi! Hell yeah, BB! <laughs> Persona! Hell yeah! No, where do you go? Oh, right, never mind. Fuck yeah, guys. This is where the game truly begins. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness, yeah, yeah, I know all this. I can tell this. I played the fifth to... one. I know all of this. Blah blah blah. Shut up. Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, whatever. Also, the music in this game is... Oh, it's so good. Okay, here we go. You did it, Sensei! Hell yeah! Finally! And we have six viewers! Well, if anyone's just recently joining us, welcome to our channel! My name is Cheese. Uh, we are usually a duo, but Blue is not here tonight, so it's just me. And we are playing Persona 4. If you enjoy our content, I hope that you will follow us and keep coming back. Uh, we really love hanging out with you guys and playing good games. Uh, but if you don't want to follow, we are not going to force you. Uh, but stay here and watch this, because this game is so goddamn good. Blue Phantom has faced her other self. We have obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Izanagi. Whoa, what was that? Oh, this game is so fun. Did I hear you say Persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Persona! Hey, you think I can do it too? No. <laughs> Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. Ugh, don't call me that. Sensei? Gosh almighty, 
You're amazing. So okay, I'm just gonna go. skip the bear's dialogue because I hate his don't voice. You think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Can you find, like, uh, do you guys know if the soundtrack for Persona 4 and 5, if it's on uh, Spotify? I'm gonna check that out real quick. I'm sorry. Persona 4 Golden. Oh my god, yes, it does exist. I wonder what song... Is it I'll Face Myself Battle? Let's see. Yes, yes, it's that one. So the song is called I'll Face Myself and then a line and the word battle and then another line. If you guys wanted to know. <sighs> okay. Heck yeah. Huh? Really? Ugh. All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Ah! Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. Oh. It's all because of that store. Oh. What the? I mean. Ugh. Oh. I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Uh, oh my. How could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working Twitch for the Twitch chat enemy. in game. <laughs> hey, hey, Ted. You said that oh. this place is reality for those that are here, right? So... Does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Fuck, Teddy is so goddamn useless. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Hey, we got a new environment. That's fun. Damn it, not again. A man is yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? Poor girl. All we wanted was to romance her. Hey, is this... But she just had to go and die. Just because we like her. It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Look at her! She's so beautiful! <laughs> Why? Why can't we romance her? Why did she have to die? Couldn't someone else die? Is that Senpai's voice? Oh. I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. Oh, oh dear. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Jesus, ma'am. Pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. Jeez. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Oh. Boo -hoo. Oh, shit. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Here we go. 
Huh? Two Yosuke's? Oh, when the soundtrack gets heavy, you know that that's when shit's going down. Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? <laughs> to battle! <laughs> Screw the shopping district and your nest too. You're sick of everything. For Frodo! Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true, I... Oh. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. Oh, shit. The more the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Relatable though, am I right, guys? <laughs> and what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe. I do know everything you're thinking. The the shadow, like the other side of all of the characters are pretty fucking mean. Why is that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? Also relatable. The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing. I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Anime cutscene! Right. Shit's See going it? down! You're not me! You're nothing like me! Yosuke, no! Yeah, that's right. I am me now. Ooh. I'm not you anymore, See? Ooh, what's this bass line? Damn. Oh, here we go. This soundtrack fucks. To battle! I am a shadow. The true self. I'll crush everything that bores me. Starting with you. Out of the way! Hey, you're not allowed to do that. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel th <laughs> Whenever I feel threatened? I constantly feel threatened. All right, here we go. Are you guys ready? Propel! Yeah, you little bitch! Uh, let's do it again. Propel! Ha! Don't underestimate me! Ha ha! You fucking suck! Oh, I love this soundtrack so goddamn much. It's guarding its weak point. Yeah, so I'm going to heal. Oh, maybe I. Oh well. All right, chat. Are you with me? We're doing this for our lost love, right? I feel like this is one of those guard moments. Don't 
animate me. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. Oh, is is that what it is? You're the <laughs> ha ha! I figured out how to cheat the system. That's not gonna work. Okay, should we maybe heal? Yeah, I think we're gonna heal, just to be safe. Don't underestimate me! Here comes an attack! What a freak! Out of the way! All right, guys, you ready? There we go! We did it! Our first boss battle! Congratulations, Sensei! Easy peasy lemon squeezy, BB! Let's go! Hi. Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Epic gamer moment. <laughs> you, you're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Oh shit! Is this, is this game actually about like accepting the darker parts of us that we, that we don't want to admit is there? Damn. That's pretty deep. Everyone's the same inside. Exactly. We all have our darker sides. And that's okay. Is that supposed to be comforting? Yes, it is supposed to comfort you. Be comforted. Damn it. it hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. But you're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. There he is. Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. Naruto's teacher, Jiraiya. This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Thanks, Blue. You're welcome. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Lost Saki Senpai got Jiraiya Senpai. A terrible deal, really. <laughs> We lost the pretty lady and we got the guy with stars in his hands. Terrible deal, I agree. <laughs> Sometimes the fog clears, then they all oh. go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. Well, that's pretty terrible. Does that mean that Saki was literally, like, smothered to death by a shitload of shadows? That's horrible. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. 
You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before, but that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. This world killed them? The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always mm. get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Oh my god, stop calling me that. Ew, I just spat. What the hell? Ugh. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. Gross. We're stuck here all alone. No one could save us. Do you guys... Okay, this this is a very weird question. But do you guys ever get... You know how, like, uh, snakes can, like, spit venom? Does that ever happen to you, like, not on purpose when you open your mouth sometimes? I feel like I shouldn't be asking Twitch chat for health advice. But that's a thing that happens to me every now and then, and it's really fucking weird. I'm just gonna let you guys stew with that one. Yeah, that is human, but okay. Well, I've never spit venom. Well, well, I haven't really tested what exactly flies out. But I'm pretty sure it's not venom as well. But it's just weird. Like, I'm, I could be talking and then it just goes like a little... Yeah. So fucking weird. Yosuke, they disappeared when the fog lifted. But they were safe before that. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. That's happened to me, too. It's normal. Okay, thank God it's normal. I'm a bit of a hypochondriac. Um, Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Well, I'm, I'm good it's happened to both of you, Odin and Jack. Like how you guys just saved me? We need to find the culprit. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. I just said that. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? No. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself, to be honest. I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Sure, we made a promise. You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time. Okay. The TV at Junus, then. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be too... Got it? I hate well, this fucking bear much. so goddamn much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. Thank God, let us out, let us out. I need a save point. Cool. Ah, oh, once okay, again. Go, go, go! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh!
What happened to the girl? Okay, so she... What girl? Do you mean this girl? Or do you mean the girl we wanted to marry? Because the girl we wanted to marry is fucking dead. Um, this girl, we just f fucking left her. <laughs> For some reason. We didn't allow her to come with us. We just fucking left her there. So she's been sitting there crying for hours. You know, this is not making me love her a lot more. Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? Look, I will settle oh. for... Oh, jeez. I will settle for Yukiko. Because, God forbid, if she dies, I'm gonna be upset. But yes, she is the second choice. Saki looked perfect. She was beautiful. Like, <laughs> yes, I settled. I said it. I settled for Yukiko. I'm settling. And Blue is going to be very happy with Yukiko as well. Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! Blah. Jesus. Oh, well. Guess that was our chance with Chie anyway. I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well... See you in the morning. Now we have superpowers. Near the floodplain while walking home from Junus. Oh look! It's mm -hmm. our second choice girl. <laughs> Let's establish a oh, romantic relationship. Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Yeah, I like it here. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. Nah. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> She's a fucking handful. I see. She's always full of energy. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. Marry me. Oh. Are we going are we at home now? Yes, we are. Yeah, it's late. Oh, and we're back to our poor poor little cousin. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Plug your ears, kids! Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. I'm so excited. We're gonna solve a serial murder case. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? She's very Amani reliable. Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Radium-rich hot springs. Radium. 
like like the radium girls who painted clocks and lost their fingers and mouths radium after the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager huh? has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yay, it's you. It's our waifu. Yeah, is radium's radioactive, right? <laughs> Why would that be nice in a hot spring? In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Delicious, invigorating radium. <laughs> yeah. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! This reporter's a dick. Uh, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Jesus Christ, this guy is so fucking weird. Huh? No. The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Agreed. Oh, I need to do the dishes. We're gonna help out, cause we're nice. Oh boy. Is there any food? No. Um... Okay, guys, you're not gonna like this, but I feel like that is a good place to end it for today. Um, I hope you guys had a great time. It was so much fun to have you all here. And uh, Jack, welcome to the channel. Uh, I hope that you will continue watching and coming back every now and then. Uh, well done, solo cheese. <laughs> Thank you, Nocturnal. Uh, it was... Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Jack is now following us. Welcome. And thank you so much for the follow. Um, it was a bit intimidating to stream all on my own. Um, but I, I feel like it went well. I wasn't alone because I had you guys. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I feel like I want to keep playing this with you guys. Uh, so I will see during the week um, if I can maybe do a couple more streams. Hopefully. Um, and then we'll see when Blue returns as well. So maybe I will stream tomorrow again. Probably. I have school for quite a while tomorrow, but I think I can do a stream tomorrow night. Uh, if you guys are interested in more Persona 4, that is. Uh, I, I did get the feeling that, that you enjoyed. <laughs> so I hope you did. Um, and thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that we will see each other during the week. And take care of yourselves, okay? And don't do anything I wouldn't do. Bye-bye!